Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, in the Avamancia Let's Play Survival series. And I just thought, uh, before I <laughs> see that, the um, golem just tried to lob a snowball at the pigman, and it missed. It's a rubbish shot. I'm not doing an episode here. We're doing an episode miles away. But I wanted to show you what I'd done, because um, I need to make just a few changes in the gold farm to make it better. I put a roof on it because if it rains, these poor fellas are going to melt and that won't do at all. Look, and here you can see by pulling out the um, every other trap door on the side of the portal, that actually gives the pigmen somewhere to walk onto, which means they come all the way out of the portal, which means the golems can see them and then they lob the snowballs at them and they aggro them. Now, we've not got loads of portals here, so we've not got loads of spawnings. And I'm going to be adding more and more and more and more and more and more portals onto this as we go along, which will increase the amount of spawn. And I've also not let out the caves yet, which is something else I need to do. So only getting a few pigmen at a time, you can see the sort of creeping in and around, but they will eventually come out and once they come out, they get a snowball lobbed at them, and that is awesome. And what I've also done, if I just turn myself around, there we go, where are we? What I've also done is I've labelled these fellas. Let me just pull anything up. So look, it's chilly. It's chilly. And coming along, my dad chilly. Oi. And of course I can't jump over that, can I? But these have all got names. One of them's chilly, one of them's frosty. And one of them's freezy, because I thought I'd use some of the little name tags that I got from my fish farm. You can see there's a few pigmen wandering around in there. They just need to come out, and then when one of them lobs a snowball, I've segmented them out, otherwise what happens is all the uh, golems run to the same spot. And I wanted to have them all separated out, so as they could see the pigmen and they'd be close enough. But just come out, because that is that. What you can do, you could have just one pigman trapped at the end, and have him aggroed and then he'd stay aggroed and then any pigman that come out kind of just do complete rush on uh, the uh, the golems but I've not done that yet I've got lots of things to do but I wanted to share that with you because I felt it was quite important to show how I've changed what's going on I've also got a new sword have you seen this new sword I lost the last one it's gone I don't know where it was I reckon I must have hit Q or something and as a result of it in queue, I've lobbed it away and not realised, and of course it's despawned. And as a result of despawning, it's no good to anybody now. It's gone. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to have a go at these fellas. That was a bit, bit aggressive, wasn't it? My Mega Blade is beyond good. It's really, really good. My Mega Blade is beyond good. It's really, really good. There we go, go on. Just going to keep hitting them. And of course, because I'm aggroing them down here, I think that might actually aggro them up there, which is quite good. I love the XP as well. Thank you very much. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. I've done quite a lot of that, which is why I've got more XP now, even though I've managed to do myself a really, really nice sword. I actually used, I think, about 60 XP level or something ridiculous like that. It was amazing. But I've managed to XP up using my XP farm and the gold farm as well. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'm going to get back to where it is I want to go, and I shall see you over there. <laughs> So we have come over to the village. Remember that village what you found when we went wandering and we found the ice biome, what was that, three, four episodes ago? The other side of the slime farm, which is sort of over that way. You can't quite see it, but it's over there. But So we've come to this village because we. I need to start getting stuff together. I'm, I'm running out of, I'm going to be blunt, I'm running out of iron now. I've still got a fair bit. You can see I've got a load of rails, etc. But I'm running out of iron. So I need to make myself an iron farm. So today's episode is about getting an iron farm. And I've kind of started the work on it already a little bit in that I've made a villager breeder, which you can see just kind of off in the distance there, just a little bit in the background. There's an arrow pointing at it now, keeping the screen very still. So there's the arrow and the arrow's gone. So I've nicked three villagers, three villagers from this village, which I've put over there in that villager farm. So let's just turn myself around. Right, which I've put over there in the village of farm, which I'll show. I'm sorry, your mates are very safe. In fact, they're a darn sight safer than all of you lot are. There's still a few villagers in there. I've not nicked them all. And of course, they will now breed up again, I'm sure, to be able to make more. But I need an infinite amount of village or a lot of villagers. So I've come along here, which has to be obviously 65 blocks or well, more than 65 blocks away from the village, which it is. So as it'll actually work. So this has been going not for very long, actually. And oh, I think, yeah, we've got a grown up villager in there. Now, it won't actually do any more because um, there isn't enough space in the village for it to do any more. But it's got one little fella in there, which is awesome. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this rail um, 
kind of off in this direction. I don't know why I should have probably pointed it that way, but off in that direction, so as we can make ourselves a um, an iron farm over here. I'm not going to do anything with that yet. In fact, I might go around and turn it off at the minute because it's not required. So basically, turn it off. Do that. That lowers that fella there. I will put the link for the um, villager breeder in the description below if you haven't already seen it. It's a really, really good design. It was by Frillioff, who uh, is a really, really clever YouTuber. Only a small channel. He should be a lot bigger than he is. But that is a really, really clever design, and I've kind of fiddled around with it just a little bit. But we're going to come over here, and again, we've got to get a fair old distance away, more than 65 blocks or it won't work. And our iron farm is going to be... Oh, I just heard a growl. Our iron farm is going to be over here. And I reckon this is a good area for it. Just around here. It looks a bit like a, an overgrown swimming pool at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to build the iron farm. And then once we've got it built, we can ship a load of the villagers in. So let's get cracking. So we've kind of made the footprint area that we're going to use for this farm. And we've got kind of a, a ring of dirt, which is one, two, three, four, all the way around this row of... Um, hang on, where's me thing? There we go. All the way around this row of double high cobble. And I've done it double high because I've done... Um, little diamonds in the corner. This is a 20 by 20 square, which means when you put water in here, it should, if I've worked it out right, take it right to the edge of this hole, but not in the hole. And this hole is where we're going to swoop the uh, golems in. So I'm just going to come down my stairs. There we go. So what we're going to do is in here, where's my shovel? We're just going to take this out to the edge like this. Like that. I think that's all the way, yeah. So we've got, okay, I can't, I can't get to those, that's gonna annoy me. There we go. Right, so we've got, so we've got all the way across in the back there, a row of, and that's six wide. But if we come this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that is eight. So what we're gonna, oh, wrong one. We're gonna cut out a hole, three high, all the way across that kind of eight width. And I'm like, have we got a hole there? Right, okay, so I'm gonna need to fix that because I put my cobble in a row and end up going over a hole, which is fine. It's not too big a deal, there we go. Uh, oh, where's my shovel again? Right, get rid of that, that, and that, 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 and that. There we go. I'm not looking for pretty, I'm looking for functional. So that should be eight. One, two, three, four, five six seven and eight yes it is so if we when we put water in this block along here that is going to come all the way to here so then we can just cut out this row three high like that and this like that and that means that this bit will be free of um free of water won't get any water in that bit. So what I'm just going to do, where's me? I'm, I'm really nervous because this pick is just too good. Right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's six. Then what we're going to end up doing here, three high, that's seven, and that is eight. And this here is the kill zone. And where's me ladders? Just put a ladder there, a ladder there, just for now, so as I can get back up. So that's the kill zone. So we're going to put a bucket of water there. That is going to go swoosh, 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 and take them all the way here. Did I hear something then? I don't want any face eaters, thank you very much. So that's going to go all the way to here. This is going to be the kill zone where we kill them off, and, um, and we'll collect them there as well. So I'm just going to dig this chamber out now, because obviously we want to be able to get to it. Oh, no, that's... That's rock. I ain't going to work with a shovel, is it? There we go. That's that, that, that. Use a gentle pickaxe, and then that means I've got some smooth stone as well. Okay, so that's like that. Except I've not got any space to pick the smooth stone up. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a chamber here. 
I'll say there, I reckon that's probably enough. Now in fact I'm going to stick that back there like that because we only need it this high here. And then we're going to get that there and that there. And yes I know that's a hole and we're going to create the kill chamber around here using some glass. Let's get... I don't think I've got any glass. Have I got any glass? Right, no, so I'm going to have to go and get some glass. Brilliant. So let's just open this up. There we go. Right, so we're starting to build out this chamber. Now we're going to make this... This bit is here. This is going to be a row of glass all the way along here. Then this is going to be the kill zone. And then this is going to be an area through which you can walk and access from that side. So if I imagine that's going to be there. So if I get that out as well. Create ourselves a little bit of space that we can. There we go. That we can work with. So I'm going to carry on with that and I'll be back when I've done a bit more. And you thought I'd forgotten it, but no, I haven't. It is time for the Mate Space here. It's episode 21's May Space, and I'm really, really looking forward to this one. This is a this is a real cracker. This is someone that's deserved this for some time. So let's wander over here, and we are going to put the next base, Mate Space member is the Viking. He's also known as me, myself, and everything, and probably 47 other names, most of which he keeps secret. But the Viking, welcome to the Mates Base. You are well, well, well overdue, mate, to be a member here. And, well, I guess we better get back to the iron farm. So we've got the killy bit all sorted, look. So they're gonna come along here, they're gonna fall down here, they're gonna wobble, 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 into, across these hoppers, and they're gonna, I'm really nervous, because. I'm underneath a block of lava. Now, I don't know if this works in console because I think it might burn your signs, but on a PC it works just fine, so I don't care. So we've got the kill zone there, the water's going to wash them in, and that's just going to kill them a lot, basically, and that's what we're after. So then we've got to come back up here, and I need to create... I need to create just an infinite water source because I'm going to need to do some water. Right, so that's those three. I need my two buckets of water. That was my lava bucket. Get rid of that. So one there. One there. I'll take that. I'll take that. And that glass can go. And I'll have this other third bucket. I'll take that. No, I don't want to put it in, you wally. Right, so that and that. There we go. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to... Shall I just put another thing of dirt there? That's probably easier, isn't it? Thing of dirt there there we go right so we're going to go down now i appreciate this is probably not the most efficient way of doing it i could put an infinite water source a little bit closer so what we're going to do we're going to put one water source there that's going to wash away that stairway i don't need to go back down there again so uh, i'm not worried about that stair being there that's not a big problem i then need to put water across all of these as well so this is going to be interesting. So one there, because it's going to wash me away. I want to go one there. And we can come up here. Yep, it's alright, I've got it all sorted. It's all fine, don't panic. We're going to go one, two, three. And we're just going to carry on doing that. I'm going to come up, I'm going to watch for face eaters though, because I reckon there's loads of them around here. Where's me bow? There we go, I've only got 20 arrows left. Right, so come on, let's go down this here again. I'm going to come down, so I need to do it in... Let's do it in this side. No, don't wash me away. Don't wash me away. There. Eight. And it needs to go in... This is really hard. There we go. This needs to go in that one. And then I just need to get one more. There's going to be... I just know there's going to be something want to eat my face. I just know there is. Where are you? Right, so get one more. Up we go. And back into the water. And then one in there. And there we go. So now we've got water swishing all the way across. That's going to push people or the golems into that. And I need to escape it and then come back up again here. And then all I need to do now is I need to put water in these four corners as well. So I'm just going to carry on doing that. That bit down at the bottom is all done. 
That's two skellies over there that I'm going to kill. No, I'm going to miss. There we go, that's him. That's him, sorted. I'm just very nervous, don't want to get bashed. Especially not if I'm stood on here. Um, what I've got here is... Oh, you just spawned right in front of me. How very cheeky. Um, what I've got on here is I've got where I was making stuffs. And down here is the entrance with I put some gates in there. And then you can get into it this side, look. So you can walk along and you can see what's going on. It's all very nice. And you can see inside. And then you can collect your stuff. And I'll collect that. It's what got washed into that last one. And I think that'll work very, very nicely. So I'm just going to start to build up other stuff. And I'll be back when I've done that. So we've done all right. Look, we've built up two full spawny levels. And they've got water in now. I've noticed I've missed out a... I've missed out a step up there. I'm going to have to sort that out. But they've all got water in now. And we've also built... Whoops, I can't climb up it. I can hear a witch. I can definitely hear a witch. Where are you, you monkey? Don't want you to eat my face. And you can stay away, Mr. Spider. Thank you very much. Don't want you to go dark. Right, so I've built up these two levels. The top level is open. I've decided not to put a roof on it. I just don't really need to, frankly. It's not really that big a deal. And what I have done, if I come on here, 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 and here, I've got a single layer of glass around here and I've put a um, I've put an entire ring all the way around of water. Now this is the same design or very similar design to that which I did a tutorial on a little while ago and I'll put the link to that in the description also um, and I'll just need to collect just a little bit more seed because I want to do some planting and the best way to do that is to come along and to get a bucket of water Lock down your bucket of water and then take your water back again. And look, and you get a load of seed. Look, well, there's flowers and stuffs as well, look. But you get seed, and that's a really good way of doing it. So lock it down, take it back, lock it down, take it back, lock it down, take it back. And then you get seed like that. Look, and it's really quite, it's quite effective way of doing it. It also clears out all of this, um, all of this grass that sort of gets in the way. So I'm starting to get, hello Mr. Spider, I'm starting to get plenty of seed now, I think, for what I want to do. Uh, shall I just get a little bit more over here, shall we? Let's rub it down, take it back. Oh, there's loads up here, look. There's loads. Take it down, take it back. There we go, let's grab all of that seed. We're doing alright, there's some more seed there, I'll have that. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go inside. I don't need the flowers, but I'll keep hold of them anyway. I'll make some dye and dye some sheep just for a laugh. No, don't you go in there, Mr. Spider. I'm going to have to beat you up if you do. Right, so I'm going to get my glass. It's quite handy. There's a dessert. A, a dessert? A dessert. You mean like uh, ice cream sundae? There's a desert over there. A dessert? What am I on? There's a desert over there, which means I've been able to smell loads and loads of sand. It's been quite useful. I've also had to knock down quite a few trees out of the swamp. It looks a little bit barren now. But what I did find over there was a little hut, which is always very useful in a swamp. So maybe there's an opportunity to do a little witch, witch farm over there. That might be nice and interesting. So let's come around this way. I'm just going to build this up to a second level, but not all the way around because I want to be able to access it. I'm coming around and around and around. <laughs> So I'm going to leave that gap there and I'm going to come inside and I'm going to get my stone hoe. I did a stone hoe because, um, frankly, I didn't waste any more, want to waste any more iron. So I'm just going to hoe all the way around here to give some croppage area. I only want to do one row, don't need to do two. All the way around. There we go. And then I'm just going to seed it up. Let's get your poppies out of the way. You're done now, aren't you? And then I'm just going to seed it and plant it up all the way around. Now what will happen, I'm going to get, hopefully, ultimately some brown coats in here, otherwise I'm going to have to do, I don't know, something else clever, um, who will do the farming and they will supply the necessary um, crops to the other villagers, which then fancy breeding and keeping my villager reserves high, although I can obviously keep topping it up with my villager breeder the other way, just over there that I just made. So that's the plan anyway. So we're going to get a 
all the way around. There we go. We're just going to make it. Yep, we've got plenty. So then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to put that glass like that. And I'm going to find which way was my villager breeder. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Over. I've lost you. Where are you? Where are you, Mr. Villager Breeder? I know you're around here somewhere. Where are you gone? Where are you gone? There you are. No, that's the desert. There it is. Right, it's over there. Right, which means we want to have... This side is where we're going to have our villagers enter. It's where they're going to come into the village. So that's that's the plan, anyway. And um, So I'm just going to carry on building that. And then I can start to feed the villagers in. So I'll be back when I'm ready to do that. Okay, so I've tried to be a little bit clever here, and I'm not entirely certain if it is going to work, if I'm being really honest. Now, the theory, the theory is I need something that's going to allow me to take the villagers from the villager farm all the way over there. Bear in mind that they're going to come at me in a minecart, and I don't want them in a minecart in the farm. So what they're going to do... I hope it works. What are they going to do? I've tested it in my test world and it sort of works. So I'm hoping it will work here. What are they going to do? They're going to come down in their minecart all the way down. Get these grassy bits out of the way. All the way down to here. The minecart will then fly in there. It will hit the cactus and it will break because it's hit the cactus. Because cactuses break entities. They do damage. And that will then flow. Obviously it's with a villager in it. That will then flow along there. The minecart will get collected by the hopper. And the villager will go up the water elevator. Across and drop into the farm. That's the theory. Oh my goodness. I wonder if this is going to work. I'm not entirely certain. But you never know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to... Well, I'm, I'm going to try and make it work by connecting up the uh, all the rails that I've got. And I hope I've got enough rails. I should have. Uh, all the rails that I've got to see whether or not we can make this work. So let's crack on with this. So I'm just going to go one. Which direction? It's over that direction. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Power rail. Probably about every twelve, I think. 10, 11, 12, power rail, and let's come around and change direction. Right, so there we go. We've got the rail systems in. I had, I had plenty of rails there. That wasn't a problem. I just need to power them up, and, uh, and then we'll be away, because we've still got this... It's like we've had a bit of a despawn there, aren't they? Is that that poor fella? I wonder if he got hit. I wonder if a zombie went in there and um, got him. Because if a zombie comes in here, you see, they can just about get there. This is turned off at the moment, so I need to turn it on to uh, to make it work. But I wonder if that was what happened there. I wonder. Right. Okay. So let's. Um, I do actually. I need to. I perhaps need to somehow protect this to stop things walking across the. Uh, walking across the tracks like sheep that are just on the tracks which are very annoying so I might need to do something about that and then power up the tracks and then we'll be away so I'll be back when I've done that right well I might have overdone it just a little bit I've put well quite a lot of glass I like it being glass because I mean one there's a desert just over there not dessert as there was before there's a desert all the way over there which means that I've got absolutely loads and loads and loads and loads of sand that I can access which makes it dead easy to make the glass obviously that's that's what's good and then what's oh it's a horse I thought it was a witch um so and then so the glass comes all the way all the way all the way all the way and then what I also hang on I've got to get all the way around right I've come a really 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 silly route haven't I so if I come all the way around here, I've got to come all the way around the back of this place now. There we go. So I'm here now. I'm here. Hooray. Right, so that cart is going up and down and up and down and up and down that I put in there. And when it, a baby villager gets in the cart, it will take it over the hill like it did in my tutorial. So what I want to do is I want to turn this on. You'll notice that I've expanded this. I was fed up with these two little villagers being so close together. So I've actually given them... 
a four by four area rather than a one by one area. Um, and this guy just needs to be elevated up. And that theoretically should get them a love in, I reckon. Do you, do you like each other now? Do you like each other? You've got plenty of food. You should like each other. Our little mate is up there. He's saying, look, I'm a village, I'm a village. So hopefully these fellas will start to go at it again and um, make another baby villager like they did last time. And uh, we shall take it from there. And I reckon... Oh, look, there goes the hearts. You see the hearts then came out. Yep, there's loads of hearts. So we're getting hearts. All we now need to wait for is a baby villager to go into the village. So let's wait on for that. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. It has been more than a few days. This has taken ages. I'm actually quite disappointed to the speed of which that villager breeder has been breeding them up. I don't think the two villagers in there actually fancy each other. I've had literally drips of baby villagers coming out of that villager breeder. Drips. And most of these villagers here have come about as a result of them breeding whilst they're in here, not from there so i'm actually genuinely quite disappointed but such is maybe i'll have a fiddle around with it if you've spotted something that is going to cause that efficiency to go right through the floor please do let me know in the comments down below but we have got a number of villagers already in the uh, iron farm it's going to take a little while as these iron farms often do to get kind of raging to get the iron coming through and again like um like the villager breeder this is not going to be a super efficient iron phoenix type thing that exumavoid does this is just a little bit of extra iron for me so as i can build some rails and other irony type stuff because i do like my hoppers obviously it's all about the hoppers for me and i need plenty of iron to be able to do that but basically it started we're already starting and hopefully in the not too distant future I might find that I'm getting a little bit of iron out of the middle of this one and uh, that will be very nice at the moment if we come downstairs open it up I know I've got growly noises coming but uh, open up inside here we've obviously got nothing yet chest is empty but I don't reckon it'll be too long I just wanted to show you how baby villager, they actually, they grow up in the water lift. And um, I hadn't shown you that bit before, which is quite interesting. But they grow up in the water lift, which is awesome. And when he gets bigger, he'll go up. So I've got some, I'm assuming I've got some, yep, look, I've got some mine carts in here as well now. I'll have those out. Awesome. Um, so when he grows up, he'll go into that um, iron farm along with the others. And also, I've got a couple of babies went into this little hole, oh no, it's not a couple, just one, went into this little hole here. Um, I don't know how to avoid that, because if you put anything next to that cactus, it just pops. So I guess that fella's just going to be sat there forever, which is a bit of a shame, that's one waste. But I'll wait for him to grow up and he can go and meet all of his mates up here. So I think we've got quite a decent number of, uh, quite a decent number of villagers lurking around in this thing now. So I have had to do a little bit of fiddling because I didn't make this kill zone big enough. I don't know if you can actually see particularly well if I come along. I've had to take out more of the ceiling of this drop zone because I make it a two laner. Because otherwise the iron golems can't fall down. I had a queue of three iron golems trying to fall down and it just wouldn't let it. So I've had to widen it out which wasn't too clever in survival. I'll tell you that for nothing. And um, now it works just fine. We've got... 25 and 7 so we've started getting cracking and what's really hilarious is if I come up here we've got about a gazillion um, hang on, close that properly. we've got about a gazillion zombies around here that aren't remotely interested in me oh yeah yes all of a sudden he gets interested in me you don't like those I was wandering around up here a minute ago and nobody even wanted to know me and oh right we're gonna have a bit of a fight are we you fancy a go there we go we'll have that but yeah, the zombies all of a sudden want me and not the villagers. Amazing. Oh, end up fighting again. I wasn't looking for a fight. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, so that's... I think that's about it. Right, so yeah, 
So we ended up that was not too shabby. And uh, all of a sudden, I've got a working iron farm. And I'm quite pleased with myself. So I'm going to call it there. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a bit disjointed, this one, because I've been trying to experiment a little bit with getting some of these things working. And um, it was a little bit touch and go. I'm a little bit concerned about that villager breeder. It's not working properly. I'm going to have to sort that out. I'm not quite sure why. But if you've enjoyed this video, please do make sure you slap that like button right across the back of the head it will be great to know you're enjoying it and then i can keep making them and also if you've not done it already please do hit that subscribe button it'll be great to see you in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye